Okay, so what do we know about friction? We know friction can be divided up into two different types of friction. You get static friction and kinetic friction. Die formule is for die twee van hulle is min of meer dieselfde. selfde. Verstatiese wrijving, like hy so, en vir kinetiese wrijving, like hy so. Ok. Good. Now let's talk about friction as a whole. Jullie verstaan nou natuurlijk, kinetische wrijving is wanneer die voorwerp beweeg, then friction is always in the opposite direction of motion. And for static friction, it's always in the opposite direction of where we are trying to move the object. So if you're leaning against the box and you're trying to push it to the right, then it means that static friction, even though it's not moving yet, is to the left. Okay, it's working against where we are, want the, the object to move. Okay, in wrijving is afhankelijk van twee goed. Dit is afhankelijk van die type oppervlakte. And this we get in our, um, in our equation in the coefficient of friction. So met ander woorde, as dit een, een baie grove oppervlakte is, dan gaan die coefficient van wrijving hoog wees, because it will withstand motion more. Then if we have a very smooth surface, that still has some friction, but not a lot. Okay, and the, as we praat about the coefficient of wrijving, is al paar goeders as ons in gedagte moet hou. Remember, it doesn't have any units. Okay? Um, it is unique for different surfaces. And you guys don't need to go and study them. I'm either going to ask you to calculate it, or it will be given to you. So you don't need to know that the coefficient of friction between wood and rubber is 0, whatever. Okay? Um, you're either going to calculate that or you are going to be given that. Okay. Then the other thing that is important is when we are going to look at how kinetic and static wrijving coefficient with each other. If you have two of exactly the same scenarios. So let's say you have two boxes. Both of them weigh 20 kilograms. Both of them are made out of wood. And both of them are being moved across a tar surface. Okay, so everything else is kept constant. The one box is moving, the other box is, we are trying to move it, but we can't move it yet. Okay, so their weight is the same and the type of materials are the same. Then this is true. So even though the one is moving and the other one is not moving, you have to know that static friction is higher than kinetic friction in daarom gaan die coefficient van statische wrijving ook hoer wees as die coefficient van kinetische wrijving. Ok, then the other thing that it is dependent on is the normal force. Ok, now, in general, the normal force relates to weight. Okay, met ander woorde, hoe swaarder die voorwerp is, hoe hoer is sy gebig, so the higher the weight will be, so the higher the normal force will be. But then we did a few scenarios where certain things can affect the normal force of an object. One of them would be if we do something like this. Okay. So in this case, we do not only, we are not only able to say Fn is equal to Fg. Okay. In any geval, we don't say Ons het Fg wat onder die wijs, always pointing directly downwards. And then I have Fn pointing directly upwards. But this one, I have to divide up into its two components, Fy and Fx. Now soon, when we're done with this, we're going to start with Newton's laws. And by Newton's data, gaan jullie leer oor krachten wat in equilibrium is. So when our force is in equilibrium, it's like when we are doing tug of war, and both of the teams are equally strong. So they're perfectly balanced. So the team pulling to the left is just as strong as the team pulling to the right. What's going to happen to the rope? It's just nothing's going to happen. You guys agree? Because they are perfectly balanced. 
So then we say the forces are in equilibrium. So what happens here is that everything on my y-axis is in equilibrium. Okay? As we can teken op a free lichaam diagram, guys know the difference between a force diagram and a free body diagram? No? A kracht diagram is soos a box wat ek daar geteken het. A free lichaam diagram vir hierdie ene gaan so luid. then some more, but I'm only drawing the y-axis for now. Okay, it's got some forces on the x-axis as well. But what I want you to see is that the top and the bottom needs to be equal in magnitude. So as we say, the gewicht van hierdie box is 100 newton. Dan moet hy normaal krag en die uitkomponent van die toegepaste krag som optel tot by 100. So how do we write that? We write Fn plus Fy is equal to Fg. So, normal force relates to weight, but normal force isn't always equal to weight, okay? Because in this case, the normal force will be equal to the weight minus that one component. Okay, so as can net altijd say, gewig en normaal kracht is precies hetzelfde nie, maar gewig beinvloed normaal kracht. So, hoe meer ons die gewig maak, hoe meer gaan die normaal kracht is. Okay, but then very important, the normal force is directly proportional to the friction. Actually, you should write that the other way around, right? Friction is directly proportional to normal force because friction is what we actually study. Met ander woorde, as ek die normaal kraag meer maak, dan gaan die wrijving meer is. If I increase the normal force, then the friction is going to be more. How can we increase the normal force? You can either add to the mass, which will make it way more, or if you are working at an angle, then you can change the angle. Okay, good. So, uh, as the normal kracht gaan toeneem, dan gaan per definitie die vrijwind toeneem. Okay, so, um, that about covers, in a nutshell, what we know about friction. Ach, there's some stuff in your book about how can you reduce friction, you can lubricate the surface, or you can it not mark, or what about that. Um, but I want to get to some examples. So, Let's begin eerst met een lekker makkelijk ene. This man is pushing on the box. box weighs 100 kilograms and we are at the moment where the box is going to start moving. So it's not moving yet, it's seconds away from moving. Okay, and he is pushing on the box with a 200 Newton force. So the box isn't moving yet. Goed. Wat er type wrijving ervaar die box? What type of friction is this box experiencing? Why static? Because it's not moving yet. Okay, goed. En ek wil by julle weet, bereken vir my die coefficient van statiese wrijving vir julle. Okay, so what do we need? We need the frictional force and we need the normal force. Want as ek ons daai twee goeders het, kan ek het gaan insel, 
and the iron acid like a mark like a whisk and then it will you make this a 10 kilogram block else our coefficient is going to be very small Let's start from left to right. You can tell me what the FS max will be. Anyone? I lay up your own left in the box made to be on at Newton. Okay, he's leaning against the box with 200 Newton. So in other words, if he's leaning against the box with 200 Newton and the box is not moving, okay, so the box is not moving, but he's going to be 200 Newton, but he's going to be in the Does that make sense? Right? Because they are in equilibrium with one another. So if he's pushing against the box with 200 Newton, then I almost want to say the box is pushing back, but that's not exactly what's happening. Friction will also be 200 Newton because they are in equilibrium with one another so they are cancelling one another out. Make sense? Okay, so we are going to do it. So I have to be 100 Newton. This is what we want to calculate. And in this case, there is no angle that we are working at. So these two forces, Fg and Fn, will be exactly equal to one another. Okay, so if n gaan gelijk wees aan f hier, so in other words, yeah, I'm going to say 10 times Everyone happy with that? Let's try another one. Okay, so here the box wordt getrek tien een hoek van 40 graden, and the force is 100 newton. Okay, and let's say this box is moving. So what type of a friction are we working with? Kinetics, nee? When the box beweegt, do you guys agree? We're working with kinetic friction. Okay, because the box is moving, and this time I'm going to give you. And I'm going to ask you to calculate the kinetic friction for me. 